what is up everybody welcome back to the trcby show today we're hitting up 100 souls and we're just going to make sure that we uh do a little dispatch because it's time to retry and send our companions off on their merry way so it is a wonderful way of getting free stuff sometimes you get bonuses such as this so make sure you do that as well too and also it is the end of the month which means it's the login reward so We've gotten 28 days of rewards, which means we could get ourselves a rando legendary. So let's go ahead and do that. So again, if you are a free-to-play player, absolutely just log in. That's all. If you just want to do that, you will get a guaranteed legendary. So, uh, okay, yeah. We've got some new friends. Yeah, thank you, friends. All right, make sure you do that. Just log in, play the game, and let's check out our inventory. Ooh, we have one that is available for us. Aw, that's all I have. Alright, so here it is. It's the legendary main weapon. So it's the random one where you can get the Wind Slayer, the Nightfall, which could be really good for me since uh, the stun build. If you don't have a legendary Nightfall, try to invest in that. It's a really good uh, and super useful like uh, in these like later chapters. And then we have the Demolition. Bone Crusher, the Demi Rune, the Duelist, the Skylark, which I am going for, and now it's including the Death Scythe at random. So let's go ahead and use it. Let's see what we get. Hopefully something good. Maybe I'll take a little screenshot of this. Yeah, let's do that. We'll do a little screenshot. Go into full screen, exit that, and do a little screenshot. Bing! <laughs> Alright, let's uh, save that for later over there. So let's go ahead and use it and see what we get. A Wind Slayer! This was our very first! So, again, I like the Wind Slayer. I have nothing against the Wind Slayer. Clearing campaign, super helpful, especially with Lady Grey. Clustering them all up and just air juggling them. I couldn't have done, like, some of those without the Wind Slayer. So, the Wind Slayer, along with the Nightfall, was super useful for me. And we got ourselves some gold as well, too. Alright, so let's go back out. And we're heading up Pandora because I got something for you guys. We got ourselves some common two rares and a legendary all the way in the back. So let's go ahead and open up the common one and see what we get. And Baboomy, an attack ring. All right, let's go back out. Okay, okay. Let's uh, do this rare back here. Let's see what we get over here. Let's see, let's see. Maybe we'll get an Enigma. <laughs> I can't even talk. I was thinking about the Enigma uh, chain. So, all right. So, that is a chain fire poison. Okay. I haven't really used much of that, to be honest with you. It's mostly the fire or the lightning. Sometimes I'll use the, um, the freeze, depending on which one I'm doing. And the shadow ring, which is the toxic attack boost. Very interesting. That's like poison, poison boost. Maybe. Maybe I should start using it just for fun. Alright, here is our legendary. What are we going to get? Oh, man. I would. I really want <laughs> that Shadow Templar. Let's see what we get. Crossing our fingers. And it's a Spirit Guardian. You know what? The stun duration decrease, attack boost, all is good. So we have been using the Spirit Guardian as well, too. Let's go ahead and craft some more. So we are able to do just one more craft. No, 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 no. Make sure that, uh, let's do this. 130, 130, right? Boom. Let's see what we get. All right. Another gear as well, too. So, this is the Pandora's Unknown Workshop. I already did my two, but if you have not, if you've done two in a day, the third one and so forth will use gear and more emeralds. So, again, I like to just only do two. For the day anything more I don't feel like it's worth the value so just make sure you go ahead and do that let's uh hey I got two more that's right the more you craft the more they give you so that's always good and check out your mails for some free battle keys over here so today we're gonna do a revisit of jungle of the deep I'm not sure if I made a video about this or not but we did finally do the Revenant Knight on the S mode so we're going to go back and maybe do the attack on him as well too. But I'm going to check out something real quick. Go to my main weapon. And do I need another one? Oh yeah, I just need one more for this 
legendary wind slayer to be really legendary because then i'll get the rising slash which is like this triple win thing that looks really cool so it will absolutely be more of use right now i've been using the nightfall because it's at enchantment level three so what do i need from there to become a uh a t8 i need these splitting slime a or S mode. We may hit that up too afterwards. So it could be a long video. I don't know yet. So depending on uh, if blue stack crashes or not. But we're going to hit up Reverend Knight. I almost wish I saved what I did. Because I now I don't really remember how I did it. <laughs> uh, but I do know I used the stun build. The stun build. Ooh, hey. The Guardian. I could upgrade you too. So all attack boost is at 14.4. Nice. Okay. So for the stun build for the Revit Knight, we want to make sure we break him. And I think I used, I ended up using Philippa. Yeah, let's go. Let's use Philippa. And then I also ended up using, oh, 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 would it be solar right here? I like to say solar, but it's solar, I think. <laughs> it spells solar. So why am I using this? It's because one, she's got lightning, and I'm also using my lightning gun to stack lightning as well too. And both of the companions are stun build, along with the nightfall. So let's go ahead and give it a try. We are underpowered from the recommended by a good thousand and some change. So that's quite significant. So just kind of keep that in mind as well too. We will always try our best to do what we can with what we have so don't be discouraged if you are under gear like me like myself i'm not up there just yet you know i am under gear but we just play the game it does take some type of skill to get better at it so we want to make sure that uh oh hey 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 maybe i should uh nah, not get hit so much uh, let me uh try to remember what i'm doing here all right no no, this is the worst intro start. Not what I'm looking for. Not the best of the best. Oh my goodness, and I didn't get that. So we need the stun uh, to stack. For it to stack, we need to uh, get him in uh, red go mode. No, get away from me. Why, why, why are you not? Okay, why are you not? <laughs> why are you not doing this, what I want you to do? Okay, let's do, I need to use Philippa. I'm just getting hit way too much, way more than I want to get hit. So I'm going to use Philippa once I break his armor, which is in a little bit, just a few more hits, please. Stomp, outs the way, just one, two, there you go, Philippa. I want that stun, and then Solar, not Solar, do that. And then we're going to do the grab, and this is going to be one stack so let's uh let's grab him again no and then he's going cray cray and then he's going to pick up his sword and i'm going to shoot and then i'm going to not and then i miss no i want to stay away from him because he's just doing his swingy thing i kind of want to see if i could do this i should have timed that a little bit better so was that a stack of something maybe oh not a stack of something so we need a stack of stack. So we just need to stack. Why are you charging at me, guy? Just because I don't remember your moves? Yep, that's that's why. That is why. That's why I'm dying. Because I don't remember his moves. And I'm going to die again. Oh, nope. This is going to be the first stack, maybe. And I'm dead. I died of poison. Great. <laughs> okay. Not what you should do for the Reverly Knight. Just, you know, maybe keep that in mind. That's not how you beat him. So that's the fail. All right. Let's let's uh, let's do this a little bit better. Let's make the screen a little bit bigger for us. Kind of really focus in on here. All right. So the Reverly Knight does his crazy mode. So we want to stack up and make sure we time this just right. And it's been a while since i did this so we want to break him for sure like anything we could do to break would be good 
And maybe I used Lolica. Now I don't remember. Maybe I did use Lolica. Okay, I'm thinking I did use Lolica just for the extra heal. Alright, so now we're going to use Philippa. And now we're going to use Solar. And that's going to be the first stun. We're going to do the rolling grab and stab him in the back. And get some right there. There we go. Oh, nope. Didn't get that. Alright, so now he is first down. We're going to time this just right. Hopefully get that. We totally miss. It just went right past his arse. Oh my goodness. And I just rolled right into that down. So let's restart this again. Let's let's just do this again. I think I had Lalika. I, I may have to switch up um switch up Philippa for Lalika. Or maybe switch up solar for Lalika. So dodge that out of the way and keep on running. And then he's gonna do the running towards me maybe. Nope. Yep. I'm gonna dodge this way. No! That hit so hard. Alright, okay. Time out for Twix. No way. So you want to get away from that crazy like sonic boom type of deal. If anybody ever plays Street Fighter. It looks like that. Now let's do this. Let's let's get a video in here of how to do an S grade for you guys. Dodge out the way. So we want to make sure that we learn his moves. So learning his moves is most important. Dodge and almost done dodge out the way from that one keeping it close because if we're far he does that long range attack and stomp and double stomp and i think i'm gonna break him i didn't need to use the gun but i did anyways so we're gonna use solar red skull philippa with the break whoa why didn't i get the stun on you what the shiznick? Okay, we're changing it up a little bit here. Preparing for battle. We are going to take who away? We are going to take maybe Philippa away? And let's see if that works. Where's the Lolica? Were you up here somewhere? Where were you? Lolica, Lolica. There we go. Join me. So I think we could also do this with Tio. There's many different ways to do this, but I believe I am going to be doing this with Lalaga. Hopefully she will help keep us alive. Or, I think I also did this with, um, uh, what's her name? Ludmilla. So Ludmilla is the new healer. Great for healing. And she also breaks. So you know what? I may just do that. Let's, uh, let's go back to Abandon the Battle. Let's use Ludmilla instead of Lalaga. Let's go back over here. Prepare for battle. Switch off Lalika. Lalika is great and all, but we're going to use the new healer, which is Ludmilla. So Ludmilla joining the battle. So Ludmilla is great because she heals and she also breaks. However, she does not cleanse you or does the resurrection. So I believe the heal is a like a, a hot a heal over time as well too that you get along with a burst of heal so let's go ahead and use her up and let's see what happens here if we'll like uh, have more success with Ledmilla over here dodge out the way I want to shoot you up and you're going into your sidestepping move over here nice dodge out the way thank you so much yeah that was pretty sweet that was perfect timing. The dodge. Oh, the double dodge. And I missed that one. All right. Dodge, dodge, and dodge. There you go. So broken. I'm going to use you at the red skull. Oh, no. Your red skull went away. All right. Roll and the grabbing. Okay. It's all right. Got the roll and the grabbing. So now he's going to go into our, our mode, which is here. So he is invulnerable during this animation. So we want to time that just right. Ooh, we got that break. Looking good. Do we need a heal at the moment? You know what? Maybe we could do that. Let's use a heal. Why not use Slud Mill to help with the break? And there we go. You are down. We're going to use you for the stun. Go in there. 
boom get it and now that is one stack so we have the first stack set up and now let's see if we can get that yeah there we go and dodge dodge and uh, dodge let's use a Ludmilla for the break help us out here a little bit now you're broken use solar and then we're going to use the stun for you and that is number two so two stacks right there not too bad hey 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 get out of the way I'm gonna shoot you up get that in there I don't know where you're going what are you doing whoa hey hey now mister man let's use a lead miller to heal and hopefully break there you go there is the break there is the solar with that and then I'll use the stun and the grab mode so here we go we are starting now that he has the triple stack of craziness he should be fairly easy to continuously get so we should be able to get the down effect as well too we're going to use the lead miller to help us break and we're going to hopefully shoot you as well too and then we're going to use lead miller once it's red we're going to use the stun as well too rolling in the grabbing stabbing you in the face and then we could do another stab in the face as well too and boom and boom and come on let's do it there you go so that's 231 is that enough for the s grade two minutes and 30 seconds that was fairly clean ludmilla awesome healer yes it was and we got a shop up so that is how i did it on S grade normal mode. So 230, I'm sorry, two minutes and uh, 30 seconds, which is 120, 30, 40, 51 seconds. So we beat it by like, you know, nine seconds. Secret shop, make sure you hit it up as well too. And if you get a secret shop at a very hard boss like this, and you have plenty of Godder coins, just grab as much as you can if you need it. So that is another thing as well too. So I'm going to sell all of my max, medium, carmanium because it only costs like 225 and I could easily get this for farming. Just get the 300 gather points. But yes, if you do need some of these, absolutely pick them up. And you know what? That's They're quite expensive. Two... 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That's like, oh, that's a lot. That's about like 1,600 or so Godder coins for everything here. But that is a pretty good discounted price and whatnot. But again, you know, like this combination worked smoothly and cleanly. And I'm thinking Ludmilla with almost anybody. Like a Philippa, you could absolutely do. You could probably get away with doing it with any other stunner. Maybe even a Nazarel. I'm curious about that. Can a Naz stun be enough? What, uh, what is her deal? I don't have enough to promote her. She is done with her secret skill. You know what? We haven't used Naz in like forever. Why don't we do that? Let's try it out. Let's do... How many different ways, different combinations, but I'm going to still use Ludmilla. No, I don't think I could use Nas because I need the, uh, maybe I can. You know what? <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to use the Nas. Okay. <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me. All right, we're going to use the Nas. This is, again, on normal. We're just going to see how many different methods of stun we could do. So, Solar was a break, but we saved her. For the stun we're using ludmilla and our own gun to uh get into the red skull face so i'm gonna take that hit dodge out the way and then he's gonna do a jump maybe i'm just gonna wait until he does this move and can i shoot you here yep i got you there and then i'm gonna wait and slam use a ludmilla for the heal as well too as the break then use Nazarel. Let's see how strong your stun is. Ooh, there you go. We got something going on here. Yeah, not too bad. And now he's going to go in his R mode. And so we're just going to back it up a little bit. 
pick up your sword. We're going to shoot you, hopefully get you before. Oh my goodness, we just missed. We just missed, and I'm not sure if I will be able to get the S grade now because those are seconds that we need, and we needed to get that first one. But we'll see. We'll see how we do. Can we do maybe a heal break? Woo, Ludmilla. Where are you going? Let's let's uh let's do a break. Can we I wanna break you. I wanna break you. I wanna break you with a heal. No, no, no. Just a few more hits. Boom. There you go. Red skull phase. Doing a little stun move. There you go. That's stack number one. Can I do a heal as well to break? Oh, where'd you go? Just just no. You just regen. Regen all your armor. But it's okay. It is okay. Wow. Slicing me up here. Let's use Ludmilla. Do a little more of the breaking. So close. Dodge outs the way. Ludmilla is an amazing healer. Totally, totally awesome. So let's a few more hits. There you go. Get the red skull going. Use our stun move. There you go. That's stack number two. We don't want to uh, break him down too fast just yet even though we should have okay let's uh use Ludmilla oh no can I get a stun on you no I cannot you're just on double stun double stack double crazy stack let's see if we could uh, pop you up shoot you up there you go red skull let's do this we only have a few more seconds Okay, so that's triple. Alright, so we need one more stun. You should be done. So, let's see if we could uh, get that. No, it's three minutes. So, that, that first break is super important because now he is on Red Skull all the time. And we should be able to get him with a stun. There we go. Let's see. Let's keep it going. No, 10 more seconds. Can I do it? Roll and grab. Roll and grab. Five seconds. No. So close. So close in the down. No. All right. So we weren't able to get him just yet, but super close. So it's definitely doable with anybody that does a stun move. Oh, that nine seconds. Again, oh man, we definitely could do this with a Naz. But the first animation when he's about to pick up his sword, you need to break him. Let's 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 do that again. Since we haven't used Naz in a while, so might as well use Naz. Let's go ahead and do that. Alright. Let's use it up. Okay, let's um go in here. Let's see if we could uh, dodge out, dodge out, and don't get hit, please. And he's going to do a run and jump. Nope. He's just going to do his shadow step. And no. Let's use a heal. One of the awesomeness of Ludmilla is because we got hit, and it got hit. And a red skull, please. And another red skull. Just get that stack. There you go. Rolling and the grabbing. Boom, boom, boom. We're not going to use Ludmilla just yet. Because we want to save the heal. Because it's also a break. And now it's going to go in that animation. Where he's going to like drop his sword. And then we're going to have to like do some funky business. There you go. So drop the sword. We can't attack it just yet. Now we could. All right. Boom. Now we're going to use Ludmilla. And he's going to do his sweep. Red Skull. Just get that up there. Get that stun going. So that's first stack number one. And we want to dodge out the way of this. Do a little back attack, back attack. Now we're going to use the gun. Once he appears, step. We're going to do a shoot him up. And there you go. The next one should break him. No, 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 no. We want to make sure that he's broken for this. There you go. Red Skull, use our stun move. Nas just came up. 
just in time. So that is stun number two. There you go. So we need the third stun in a little bit. So Nazril needs to pick up her rage. So Naz, you could do with Naz, I believe, but it's all about the timing. So where are you, guy? All right, we're going to shoot you up. And then we're going to use... Ooh, hey, you went to Red Skull already. So we're going to use you, you, and we should... No! That, you faked me out with the Red Skull. That was a fake out. Oh, man. Okay, there you go. But we did get the triple. We didn't get the stun with it, though, which is a bummer. Where are you? Hopefully you're still there. Nope. Whoa, glitchy, glitchy. Super glitchy right there. Broke you up. Red Skull. Fake Red Skull. D rolling the grabbing. Okay, so this is on our two minutes and 22 seconds. I think we got this. I think we could do this. And then we're going to do another, like, down attack. Boom. We're going to shoot you up. Bam. I'm going to use a Ludmilla. Lead Miller should break you. Then we use a Naz. And rolling in the grabbing. And there you go. We did it. So we were able to do the Naz with the Lead Miller. And it's super easy once you get the flow of it. I think it's super easy because of Lead Miller. The heals you absolutely need. And we also got another secret shop. So. It only you could only sell a maximum or gain a maximum of 300 goders per shop per day so you could only sell once a day so just keep that in mind but you could absolutely keep getting these awesome loot for less if you had you know if you have the goders to spend it of course but that is it I guess you know what let's do one more so we could get a um, an eight out of um, eight. So that could give us a metal reward. So let's change it up. Now that we know we could do with Nas and Ludmilla, let's see if we could do it with a Karen, maybe? I don't know. I have no idea, but we're gonna try. So let's go ahead and do with a Karen. And then we're gonna do a recap on the gear used and along with um, what it took to get to the gear level that I got up to. So let's go ahead and do this and hopefully we get this going here. I'm gonna dodge out to the side, get a little bit better. I've been super sloppy because I have Ludmilla and I know that's not a good thing to like do or be is sloppy. You don't want to be sloppy with any boss. So let's go ahead and try to get the stun going here. So Karen stun is not good it's like full but it's like 99.9 percent .9 full so that is uh that's no bueno we don't want that we want to be able to stun him all the time every time he is red skull but let's uh let's see if we get it so we'll use lead Miller again to break him up so red skull face let's use you and let's use you and can we get the stun there you go, rolling in the grabbing. So the Karen stun may be the challenge because her fireballs don't always land on him and it makes it that much more challenging. Okay, so now he's gonna do his like, oh no, you defeated me. But then he picks up his gun and he's now gonna charge at me, but I'm gonna, oh, I thought I was able to take the hit, but I was not able to. And now I am not going to get the stun. Okay, so we're going to use a maybe Ludmilla to help us out a little bit since we are poisoned. And hopefully we get the break. Yeah, you know what? I got the break. That's pretty good. There you go. I'm going to use a Karen and my stun as well too. And let's see if we were able to get the stun from you. Yep, there you go. Wow. That's the first stun, and now he is, okay, another stun. That's very interesting, interesting indeed. So let's, uh, let's see where we are with him. He is at a zero stack still. Oh, 
Got down again. Let's use you to break you up. Red skull right away. I'm going to use I am still down. So let's uh let's see if I'm able to get him up. No, Karen. No. No, not good at all. Come on now. All right. Something is amiss here. Something ain't right. And broken. Use the stun mode. And that is the first stack. All right. So you know what, Karen? I'm having some uh, some issues with Karen here. Ludmilla is able to keep us alive for sure. So Ludmilla, I have to say, super awesome. Super awesome to have. She uh, regens fairly quickly. Especially with the break. Like, she just regenerates her rage more so. And Karen, on the other hand, it's... It's not perfect. It's, uh, it's tough. And I don't think we're able to do it with, uh, with a Karen here. Yeah, now it's over three minutes. And Alright, so we're going to abandon the battle. Doesn't look like the stun from a Karen works well enough because of the timing. So, at least for me. I'm not sure if anybody else is able to do so. So, I'm going to unequip the Karen. And then I'm going to put up another stunner. Maybe Meteora. Maybe Meteora stun. It's a little bit more, I don't know, impactful. Like, you know, you get it like a Nazrael or Philippa or a Solar. Something that's a quick burst of that stun buildup. So, let's go ahead and take a look. Let's see how we do here. I'm going to roll right behind you. I'm going to get hit. I'm going to get hit again. And then he's going to do his charge maybe. There you go. Dodge out the way. Shoot you in the butt. And after shooting you in the butt, I'm going to do a little rolling and the healing to break. And get that red skull. And I'm going to use both of my stun. Meteora stun and my own. There you go. Roll in the grab. So I need that con consistent stun to work. And Meteora does work because she does that quick ball of fire that just goes right to him so versus waiting for uh karen who uh takes forever so let's see if we time this just right there you go we got you Ooh, you miss buddy you miss i'm gonna use this to break you boom you are broken use the meteora and also use my stun at the same time to get that first stack there you go Stack number one is all done. That is uh, that's nice and quick. I like that. That's pretty good. So I'm gonna shoot you up. No, yes, kind of, not really. Okay, gonna use a Ludmilla to maybe hopefully break you a little bit. Nope, wasn't able to break you. But I'm gonna break you now. And then I'm gonna use Red Skull. There you go. Wait for it. It's always about the wait. You don't want to do too soon as well too or you'll just ruin that up all right so i'm not going to shoot him just yet and wait till he reappears okay he's reappearing right there we want to break him out of him doing this move over here so we're going to do the roll the stun move and now that is number three so three stacks but you still want to make sure you break his armor Breaking his armor will weaken him, so that way you could still get that Red Skull stun. And let's uh, let's go. Sometimes it's a fake Red Skull, and I I'm fearful of those. So right now it's like a full armor fake Red Skull, I think. So I'm not going to use Meteora for it. So I'm going to hit him a little bit more, and now I'm going to use my stun move, the roll and the grabbing. And I believe we're pretty good on time. Two minutes and some change. Do another grab. Get you over here. And then I could do a down attack. There you go. Now I'm going to use a shoot him up. Boom, 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 boom. And then I could use a... Can I get another down? Is he in a down effect? No. I'm going to use a Ludmilla to break. Use a Meteor this time for the stun. Straight away got the stun stab you in the head oh my goodness stab you again I'm not doing as much damage for some reason do a slice shoot you up 
break you up with a lead milla. Ooh, I did not get the yes grade with you. Use my stun move, do the roll. And yeah, I'm not doing as much damage as I can. It's because I can't get behind him with the roll and the grabbing. And what is up with that? So we're gonna do that, gonna shoot you up. And now you're down, gonna shoot you with a Meteora. Get that stun, rolling and the grabbing. Yeah, it's kind of hard when I kind of got him all the way in the corner to get that back attack, but there you go. Easy peasy, lemon a squeezy. But I we didn't get the S grade with uh, Meteora, but I guess that's okay. It's all about the tactic and how to do this guy. And we also got a clear count as well too, so pick whatever it is that you need. And this seems to be the purple one that is the hardest one to get. I have a good amount of everything else. But there you go. So, hopefully this helped you guys with the Revenant Knight. So, hopefully the Revenant Knight made easier for you with different options. But the stun build is definitely the way to go. So, here is what we used. We used a T7 Nightfall at a plus 9. This physical attack is 1409 and 636. It's enchantment level 3. Stun damage boost 71.5%, critical damage to 24.7, and we are also rocking our T7 Shock Emperor, which gives us an additional 69% on the stun damage boost, a little bit of defense, and then all attack boost of 24.5, and a penetration of 200. We're using this lightning shoot. One of the reasons why we're using this lightning shooter versus any other shooters to break, it's because it's got a higher all attack boost, at least for me. Right now, it's at 35.4. I believe that is my highest all attack boost. So that's why I'm using it. But, you know, if you are in that distance, just be mindful that sometimes he does move around. So you could miss. And it doesn't go right to him. So um, just be mindful of that. You could miss on that. And we're using a Void Walker, which is a T7 plus 6. And it's an enchantment level 4. So I have about a 1,000 defense. But it's almost like I feel I could get away with something with a little bit less raw defense than uh, the Void Walker and still be fine. I'm not sure if I could get away with like something like an 800. 800 may be a little bit too low. 900 I could maybe probably do, but Ludmilla for sure is keeping me alive. So Ludmilla, I have her at secret skill number three. So we are using this over here. So uh, yeah, secret skill number three for Ludmilla. And my chaotic wisdom, which also gives my stun duration increase by 20%, which is, I believe, why I am able to do those are uh, stun twice and the stun damage boost of 57.9 percent so instead of using the raw physical attack boost of only 16.8 or the crit damage boost of 33.4 i'm opting to use the stun damage boost of 57.9 and also i am not using the weakness picker even though it's got a back attack boost because sometimes you know the roll in the grab i can't get behind him for some reason like the last one he just I just ended up getting him stuck behind the wall or against the wall so I couldn't roll behind him as well as I wanted to. And then we have the Spirit Guardian which is our all attack boost of 14.4%. And everything else is just gravy. 24.7 defense, HP, and the stun duration decrease. But it's really for the all attack boost that we're using it for. And our companion, any companion that... Aside from Karen so far, I believe a Meteor works just fine. Karen, not so much. Nazrael, we were able to do. And I think uh, Philippa, of course. And then you could also use a Tiki as well, too. And a Solar. So those are more of those instant stun builders. And I think uh, those will work just fine as well, too. But a Meteor, not so much. I'm sorry, no, a Meteor, yes, but a Karen, not not an always situation. So I wouldn't use a, uh, a Karen for this particular stun buildup. But 
Our little guy, of course, the Nimble Warrior. Why do we use him? Because we have a fall effect of the roll and the grab. A 40% damage boost activates when the Savior dodge. And that's a lot of boosts for a stun damage. So there you have it. Hopefully this video helps how to do the, um, <clears throat> the Revit Knight. Hopefully you guys, you know, enjoy this video and, uh, you know, feel free to uh, leave what other, like, combinations that uh, works for you, for your S grade and where you are as well, too. So I hope everybody's doing well, staying safe and healthy, and peace.